Happy New Year, Sunflower family. If you are new here, welcome. And of course, if you have already been a part of the family, I appreciate you guys so much. I'm really excited to finally get the chance to work with YG Wigs. I have been wanting to get my hands on their 30 inch crochet boho knotless. Okay, say that three times. <laughs> Anywho, if you don't know, I am the queen of protective styles. I did have a little hiccup sometime last year. Well, actually the year before. Um, I actually ended up doing micro links, completely heat damaging my hair. It broke off so much. And so instead of doing another huge big chop, I decided to just kind of let my hair grow out over the course of a year. And this is what we're working with. I did actually go ahead and chop off two and a half inches. So let's get into this hair therapy. If you don't know, this is one of the ways that I keep myself sane. Just growing up, I really didn't have access to a lot of money, a lot of resources. My mom was not the hairstylist at all. So I was learning tips and tricks from some of my friends, people at school, got into YouTube, and then of course, eventually started working in a hair salon when I was 14, sweeping the floors, getting the chance to kind of wash some clients to eventually going to hair school, on to college. And that is the really, really quick and short story of how I got into hair. So far, so good. I am really excited with just the way that my hair has kind of treated me. I finally got to understand what it likes, what it doesn't like what works what doesn't work overall I'm just finally really really excited to be able to fall in love with my hair it has been one of my like real true pain points over the course of the years um, I know a lot of times we will rely on the wigs and the weaves to kind of give us that motivation and validation in our beauty and honestly healthy hair is what truly makes me feel beautiful when I know I can take off my wig take off these braids and my natural hair is still nice and full and soft and even if because I all remember I had that ball spot okay <laughs> that was a stress spot I never got into it because it was just like I didn't want to go down that rabbit hole but if you guys are still curious about that I will include that in my natural hair update which will be coming up when I talk more and kind of show you how I do that silk press and my mini big trap of the two and a half inches so so far all that I have added to my hair is literally the Mazzani um, this is their leave-in I have been swearing by this stuff if you're going to do um, anything to your hair related to heat, definitely make sure that you are using this product. And the reason that I say that is not, obviously it's not sponsored. Okay. YG Wigs is responsible for that. But <laughs> the reason that I say that is because I don't know if you guys have ever seen the girls uh, on TikTok or Instagram doing the flame test when it comes to the heat protectant. Y'all, this one baby without a shout of a doubt y'all got me clapping and praising over here okay has been the most reliable and I can absolutely say that no matter how much heat I have put on my hair in between time I have not compromised the new texture that's growing in so y'all work with me okay y'all know it's been a journey but it's looking pretty good we have everything all even my goal of actually having my bangs grown out to be longer than everything else is a journey the back of my hair is always naturally growing really really fast and I'm just kind of like in that space of like, this is what it is. Like we're not compromising, but what we are going to do is jump right into this video without further ado. I did have to go ahead and just kind of get my edges together. I usually start off my crochet styles with the middle part because I know that I'm either going to wear this in like a half up, half down, or usually a ponytail. Um, obviously, whenever I get my hair braided, typically the way that most braiders start parting your hair as well is a middle part. You want to be able to do a side part and just kind of have some uh, flexibility, versatility. Now, I am one of those people that was super against doing um, or applying any type of heat to your edges, but y'all saw the transformation of the little bit of taco meat we had going on, okay? <laughs> I think in the last video, I called them rice sickles. I am screaming, okay? What I like to do whenever I get my crochet braids, when you know I take it out of the pack, I usually assess how big my individual illusion parts need to be. So you guys, if you need to play that back, don't hesitate to do it, okay? But typically, that's how I make sure that I'm gonna have enough hair you know, in that space and not too much, not too little, because you really want this to create the illusion that you just got your hair braided. Now, when I went and uh, I went to Jamaica, this was back in September, early September. 
Um, you guys, I sat in that chair for so long. Like, love essentials. Y'all know that's my girl. I've been sending y'all to her for the past two years. Love the her technique, all that, right? But all in all, sometimes the braids still just take too long. And there's really nothing we can do about that except for this. <laughs> so let me show y'all, okay? And that's why I'm just so incredibly excited. As I was actually creating this style, I was just like, this is about to help so many people. I still get so many comments on the crochet, passion twist, and like all of the things. So I know that it's working. And if you are somebody that has, you know, feel like, oh, I don't want to do this with the rubber bands. If you've seen that method, I agree. Y'all, the rubber bands is not meant to stay in for an extended period of time. If your hair is a little bit more fragile, if you have super soft hair, they may slip. If you have super thin hair, it's definitely going to cause breakage. So if your hair is not in the utmost health okay please do not pass go do not use those rubber bands go ahead and learn to do it this way now if you don't want to do it this way show it to your braider whoever it is that's helping you out with your hair because i promise you not only is it going to add <laughs> another service to their bookings but you will actually have a reliable style as well so if you guys are curious about what i'm doing here all that I have done is parted down the middle and then, of course, down near my ears or kind of the side of my face. You guys can see I just uh, parted off about an inch, maybe, yeah, about an inch of hair out. And I'm literally just doing my boxes. Now, me personally, just because of my head size and shape, I have five boxes going across on the left side and five going across on the right side. Or I will in just a little bit. If for whatever reason you cannot get as many boxes or parts as me, that's okay. It doesn't mean that you didn't do it right. I promise you the goal is just to create some type of uniformity so that when you go to actually install the crochet, it looks like you got your hair braided. All that you're going to want to make sure that you're doing is what I'm going to show you in just a few more steps. But first things first, make sure that you get yourself a nice braiding gel. So um, sometimes we kind of get confused with the edge controls and the braiding gels. The braiding gels do have a conditioning agent. Um, in the past, I used to use like black castor oil or coconut oil to completely try to like hydrate my hair after I've used like a heat protectant, just something to seal in the moisture. But what ends up happening is when I go to apply the edge control it would literally cause this like slippage or it would turn white now with the braiding gel you may see a little bit of like white product build up and that's literally just from it being overly placed into one spot all that you do is take your little fingers dab that little product away and you should be fine and it usually dries clear with the edge control if that happens nine times out of ten <laughs> it's gonna leave you that like ashy kind of overcast or it's gonna end up being overly oily and you'll notice that your hair does not end up having that same grip that you're looking for with the edge control so all in all i would just recommend to really do the work at the bowl so make sure that you're using a you know if you know that you're going to be doing a protective style definitely make sure that you are using a hydrating shampoo definitely make sure that you even apply a little bit of oil in your deep conditioning treatment and then of course just rinse it out really really well and then of course go in with that blow drying process with the nice heat protectants whatever it is that you feel most comfortable with and I promise you that's going to prep your hair for styles like this and then of course because the braiding gel has that conditioning uh, agent in it it's going to further hydrate and of course I don't mind a little extra oil <laughs> on my hair I would rather it be more oily than dry so you know if you do have a sensitive scalp just kind of take all these things into consideration I would always 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 say whether you're using a braiding gel or a you know an edge control just make sure that you are not applying oil in between that step save it for the end if you want to apply one at all now of course when it comes to the second row now that we have gotten all of our plaits done you want to make sure that we are now connecting each one to the other one i have done this in many different ways um, in other videos of course with rubber bands without rubber bands but typically i'll go like row by row and do it so this is the first time that i'm actually doing it i guess column by column y'all a row is a column it just depends on <laughs> how you look at it but yeah so in this case, I'm just literally following that guideline just because I found that it was a little bit easier. It was a smoother process just for me to like work through it, but do whatever works for you. You guys can see I'm braiding down maybe about four or five times and then I'm just literally feeding in the braid that was in front of it 
or connecting it, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, and yeah, that's literally it, but you definitely wanna keep the style nice and neat. And so I just do that with using, again, either edge control, the braiding gel, some type of pomade, just to really like pick up each and every individual strand. That's what's really gonna make this look super clean and like you just left the salon. That's the trick, okay? <laughs> a little goes a long way. You don't have to overkill. And y'all, keep in mind, I literally had I'm saying keep in mind because I forgot to tell you actually. So let me remind myself. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I literally had two and a half hours to get ready. If you guys participated in the poll, I asked you if you would rather me split this video up into three sections or if you wanted one full video. Well, of course, the majority won. So you guys wanted me to just do one full video explaining everything start to finish. So here it is. <laughs> but yes, I was actually going to a dinner party uh, for one of my boyfriend's really, really good friends. My boyfriend's really, really good friends. Y'all know it, okay? Anywho, I had to make it to dinner and I just really wanted to go into uh, Christmas and the holiday season with my hair already done. So this is where this came into play. But I'm like, okay, we're kind of running low on time. It it probably was already about four o'clock the sun was kind of going down so you guys will see the shift change okay <laughs> but your girl got it done and this is proof this is really like the test to really really see if this hairstyle really can be done start to finish in less than three hours because y'all know Girl, we would have just got done with like the back of the head in about three hours if these were boho knotless on top of the fact that 30 inches come on now that's a lot so yeah, so far so good. Y'all know I can sit and talk this entire video just because I've kind of become skilled at it. I, I low key want to get into like voiceover acting at this point. <laughs> Clearly, I like to hear myself talk, but if you guys don't know, YouTube typically will copyright a lot of the videos that I will, I won't say a lot because it hasn't happened since I learned my lesson. If you guys are here from like since the beginning when I literally did that uh, box braid video, went viral, I had a ton of like K Tronada. <laughs> songs up in there and y'all just learned how to say the name okay but anyway must have blew him up because baby when I tell you my video ended up getting a copyright strike years later it was so many of like millions of views that they couldn't even pay me on the back end but y'all this video is not about get into the business of YouTube. I, I would love to talk about it. I don't know if that's something you guys will want to know but I've been doing this now for almost 10 years years okay we are nine years in um i actually just hit my channel's anniversary on december 21st um 21 is actually one of my lucky numbers it's like a bunch of like random thoughts at this point but <laughs> yeah i'm just filling y'all in so when y'all are like chrissy how are you still talking baby i've had to learn to okay this is the job so i appreciate y'all if y'all are still here y'all know i did actually find some copyright free music through youtube so shout out y'all because now i will finally be able to rest my beautiful voice and in case you guys are wondering what just happened in between time we literally just followed that guideline off of the size of our ears to create about an inch of leave out going around it's not actual leave out but that's just the parting space and then we continue the boxes so this is really what's going to amp up that uh illusion method you could absolutely y'all ask me this all the time Chrissy, could I just continue to do boxes all over? Absolutely. But if you're gonna do that, please, please, please make sure that you are connecting the bottom boxes towards the middle of your head and the top boxes towards the middle of your head. And I'm saying and, 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 okay, comma, comma, comma. And also be sure to connect the side boxes going towards the center of your head. I will be filming a video on that base this year for my birthday so my birthday is january 21st don't y'all forget it okay 21 is my lucky number i'm telling you so yes 21 12 however you want to say it listen that is like the golden number for me but yes so i will be uploading that right before my birthday trip um just so you guys can really get a, a feel for that because you've been asking for a while and i've kind of taken the lazy route with just kind of like filling it in because i typically wear my hair in a ponytail if i'm wearing braids that's what i'm doing so at this point i had to really assess like chrissy were we gonna continue these boxes we don't really have a lot of time to spare so i decided i was gonna go ahead and just part it out and see what we could work with so i knew straight out of the gate just by looking at it i could have gotten one two 
three, four braids in, but I opted out of doing the individuals and I decided to just go ahead and connect a cornrow. Now this was genius because if you are like me and you just simply don't want to continue going through this pattern, you know that you just one, don't have the time, two, don't feel like it, <laughs> um, then you absolutely have the option of just doing like a snake pattern going up to right about behind your ear. Um, and then the rest, of course, you would kind of cornrow, but I'm going to show y'all that in just a bit. So I did the snake pattern going back and forth for two rows. I could have continued it up if I really wanted to going in either direction. Just make sure that if your hair is really, really thick, part out smaller sections because what you don't want is for it to be super bulky in the back. Um, my hair is like average density. It's not super thick. It's not super thin. That's why when I go to part my hair, it looks super clean. It's just simply because of the density of my hair. So keep that in mind. Um, I love that you guys have been sending me your styles. <laughs> I love, love, love that. Y'all don't realize like this really makes me happy. I know some people, you know, have passions of like other things, but I am obsessed with hair and if it was not for my mom not knowing how to do hair <laughs> and me not really getting my hair done a lot growing up like professionally I don't think I would have gotten into this it's so interesting how sometimes the things that are like pains for us are really just blessings in disguise they say God does not bless you without sending you through the fire and I really 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 believe that so Hey, we're here now, okay? Falling in love with our hair all 2024. And I'm not like one of those natural hair Nazis. So girl, I don't care if you want to be a flat iron. Is it called a flat iron na natural? Or is that what's called? Y'all, get me together, okay? Or is it a heat natural? Whatever, listen. Whether you straighten your hair, you wear braids all the time, you wear wigs, weaves, I do not mind. Just as long as you are genuinely happy and feeling like really validated in what you bring to the table not the additive not the lashes not the makeup all of that is cool but like at the core okay make sure that you are actually in love with yourself <laughs> so i did go ahead and just pretty much add cornrows from this point really really simple i connected the braids that i could and the ones that were just like a little bit too chunky too thick i decided mm, I think I'm gonna leave you out <laughs> so you'll see that you can kind of see this is where the braid gets a little thicker I'm still just gonna continue to like connect everything and honestly thinking back I was like dang I probably should have done like four rows of or maybe not even four maybe just one additional row um, of just the box going across the front um, just because I don't know I just felt like it would have definitely just given me a little bit more of illusion even when I wore it down but you guys will see what I mean or you might not okay because that's the whole point is an illusion <laughs> y'all you may or may not notice once I get to the end y'all I am so silly I hope well corny silly is a fine line <laughs> y'all can be the judge for that but back to the hair so one thing that i really wanted to point out um just in playing this back i did also realize that i did not apply any product directly to my scalp um and so if you are somebody that like me okay has oily or thoughts that you had oily acne prone skin um a lot of the times it's the products that we're putting on our hair so aside from what you do to your face right you can be keeping up with your skincare regimen a hundred percent scent or so you think you are right what we tend to forget is all of the oil buildup that tends to happen y'all that oil gotta run somewhere so just keep that in mind when you are applying these products and kind of like layering them up building them up if you're gonna do the oil i definitely recommend now being a great time to take a little bit in your hand and rub it around and then just apply it to the very tips of your hair because that's typically what's going to be the most dry and the first to break now y'all can see i'm literally just finessing this okay i am crisscrossing crossing the braids across each other um, you could absolutely go in with a crochet needle loop them around a million times so where you know you pretty much can just hide it or you can sew it down but me y'all I took the easy way out okay it's a cop out <laughs> I went ahead and literally just uh put in a bobby pin nothing too crazy I have about four pins hidden some visible don't really matter because it's all going to be covered um and so if you are planning to wear this for a longer than a week y'all Secure it better than that bobby pin. Please do, okay? Now let me show you how to really quickly go ahead and just slip the hair through. 
you pull it on through that little hole and boom okay we are gonna do this a couple of times if you need a lot more practice I have a ton more crochet videos showing you how to do it step by step very slowly and I just recently learned the technique of slipping the needle through the hair closing down that latch sliding it through and also grabbing onto the piece of hair and pulling that through the smaller loop because a lot of times what I would end up doing is just like pulling it through I would let go of the crochet latch and then I would actually like use my fingers to pull it through and tighten it but y'all you don't have to do that and sometimes the hair is actually not going to be suitable for you to go and stretch it to pre-stretch that little bitty loop so you really have to get the hang of it practice makes perfect so if you guys do need a little bit more help just reach out to me instagram y'all know all the ways to get in contact okay definitely just reach out i don't mind y'all sending me a little video message it's not a big deal <laughs> i'm actually happy to help seriously i really want you guys to be able to do this and actually save some money let's be realistic it's expensive and i say this in every video it is really really expensive um i believe the boho knotless braids some people are charging anywhere between 500 hair included some hair not included okay all the way up to maybe a thousand or more i have seen ridiculous prices and by ridiculous it's no disrespect to you know the stylist or anything like that i understand the price of everything has gone up but realistically okay if most of society is struggling to pay their rent um i don't know where thousand dollar braids really fit into the mold i mean let's just be honest i think it's time to learn a new skill and it's also going to be something that you can pass down like come on now <laughs> so yeah this is definitely knowledge that will be here forever youtube has done a beautiful thing or google has by creating youtube so that we can now have video answers okay because what would i do without youtube y'all have learned so many things but as y'all can see the illusions have continued i'm literally just gonna go ahead and fill in all the spaces at this point i think we were still on pack number one like look at how full this is the hair was super soft i can't lie like for the human hair part of this because y'all okay did i forget to mention that this is human hair which means if you guys decide that you want to dye the hair jet black you can if you guys want to add a little bit of color do a little balayage which is what i'm thinking for my birthday i kind of want to do a test strand let me know if y'all want me to record it okay um just the test strand part because y'all know i'm gonna give you the tutorial but I'm thinking about doing like a nice little balayage and I kind of want to add some color to the tips. Um, YG wigs, like if this is something that y'all can even do, definitely add it to the site because I think it will sell out. I really, really do. Y'all know I'm giving tips to everybody, okay? <laughs> we can all win. So I finally made it to pack two and I was already like yay okay we did it we did it i definitely instant when i say instantly realized that like girl you should have connected those boxes going up three rows for this to really lay the way you want it to or i should have really taken the time to do smaller uh corn rolls but y'all we already know i'm wearing this up in a ponytail so it's not about to matter but for those of you that are like chrissy all right now like i didn't try this style and i'm feeling like something's missing because if your hair is super thick you will have that bulk going from the nape up to where we have kind of like finessed the braids to lay down flat so if your hair is any thicker than mine and you really really want to make sure that this lasts and is not bulky in any style that you choose definitely make sure to get that base as flat as possible and i'm just being real with y'all okay because i know you're gonna go ahead and try this and then you're gonna be like Chrissy, wait, I probably should have did one more row or two more rows. So learn from my mistake. Y'all, I had somewhere to be, okay? In other news, because I'm trying to stop saying anywho, okay? <laughs> Y'all, I really, really love the way that this is already looking. Y'all can see they did a ton of like little boho strands coming out, starting at about maybe six inches down. So I'm actually going to show you a cute little trick, okay? If you guys decide that you want to add a little bit more in there. So I'll show you that towards the end. So just stick around for it. I just really, really, really wanted to make it a point to fill in this hair. One of the main 
things that you're going to want to make sure is as you go to fill it in, do not, and I repeat, do not sit in one spot for too long. You guys will see that I kind of bounce around. I'll go from one cornrow to the other. I may put six, uh, you know, six crochets on one braid, then I'll go to the other one. The reason for that is because placement is everything. I literally only had three packs and I believed used two. I do have one pack left over. I think I may have had six strands left from that, right? So a total of 120 strands for the pack of three. And y'all, I got away with two, okay? And it was simply because of the placement. Now y'all see that middle braid. Now girl, we ain't fooling no body okay go ahead and use extra braids or the hair whatever you need to do to fill that in do it okay it's not a big deal but definitely make sure that you check your work y'all can see just how long it is i'm only five two i know i come off kind of tall y'all are like always surprised when i meet you guys <laughs> like wait i didn't realize you were that short yeah girl i'm five two okay i'm trying to get to five five somehow i don't know how i'm gonna get there but <laughs> Now, for those of you that are like, Chrissy, what about the braid in between? Can't you see the connected part? Do I put a braid there? Girl, no, that's the whole point. This is an illusion, okay? Sorry for my sarcasm. I'm just being silly. But all jokes aside, I love this method. For the most part, most people don't really understand hair anyway. And that's no disrespect to anybody. But the average person is not realizing that like, Oh, this girl didn't sit for 12 hours to get boho knotless. All they see is boho knotless, okay? <laughs> so they're not really looking super, super close. And even if they are, you can tell them, no, this is crochet boho knotless. Like, it's okay to start something new. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. If your hair is nice and pretty and you love it, that's really all that matters. Like, the confidence to wear anything is really what's going to get you through the door, keep you there, all that. Like, you don't have to, like don't be so self-conscious okay so if that bothers you absolutely go and do the standard you know get the individual braids it's not a big deal but when you do the illusion method that's exactly what it is i typically wear it half up half down or all up so because i do that when I tell y'all the illusion, okay, baby, <laughs> so many people came up to me wearing this style and it's just like, girl, who braided your hair and wait, and you did it. And I'm like, yeah, girl, it only took me two and a half hours and the looks on their faces are priceless. So I cannot wait to send them these videos when the time comes because baby, we got another bingo. We got another one. Okay. And I'm loving how it looks down. Super pretty. If you want to wear it to the side, you can. If you want to wear it in the middle, you can. But keep in mind, y'all, it's crochet. It's crochet. So some of the things that you get in crochet are still there. The only difference is it's not super bulky. It's laying really, really flat. And you can absolutely still get the styles that you like to wear with your braids. So for me, I'm one of those girls where I was looking for a little piece to kind of leave out, but <laughs> I'm one of those girls, like if you have been following me for any amount of time, if you see me on vacation, typically I'm wearing braids and they will nine times out of 10 be up in a ponytail. So let me really quickly show you how I get my ponytails to like sit nice and high and pretty. So you do got to kind of break that neck, break them arms. Okay. <laughs> I can tell that I'm getting older because when I started YouTube, I mean, obviously I'm getting older, but when I originally started YouTube, I was probably like 127 pounds. And I had this one guy that would always comment on my arms and he would just be like, you have such nice arms. And he's still Stopped commenting. So <laughs> it's been about a year now. And I'm like, oh, do I not have the definition anymore, sir? What's going on? So clearly, clearly Pilates ain't doing what it needs to do because my, my biggest arm fan has finally left the building. Where are you? I've been missing those compliments on my arms, y'all. <laughs> it took a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time for me to fall in love with these Angela Bassett's arms. If y'all know, I love Tina. Love Sierra, love Angela, because those body types were more similar to mine growing up and it just wasn't in style. So now it's in style to be super fit and have that athletic look. So baby, get your practice on with a ponytail. <laughs> Y'all, I said all that to say what? Like, girl, get out, okay? Anyway, I took a little bit of hair around the uh, back of the ponytail and I just wrapped it around, used a bobby pin to secure it. Y'all, please do not feel the need to add all of that product up in this hair now that we got it installed. A little bit of water has been the go-to. This hair has not tangled. 
didn't have any shedding, no matting, nothing. And YG hair is already, like the hair that they actually sell in wig form, bundle form, is already really, really nice. So I knew these crochet braids was going to be 10 out of 10. Okay, I can't lie. This hair, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, y'all know. And y'all definitely know, because once I start giving them looks in the camera, girl, I can see it by the look in your eyes. I can tell you, oh, okay, all right, we, we about to hit 30. <laughs> Girl, your age is showing. You look gorgeous. This is like a mantra to myself, okay? I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all know I love giving the gems, but I got some a little bit more special for y'all. So I told y'all I was going out. <laughs> we was going to dinner, so I did switch into an outfit. I actually wore the same outfit in my vlog. I think this was like three near New Year's ago. Three New Year's ago. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, this outfit is from uh, Tierra Monet's line. I cannot think of the name right now. Is it 2027? I can't think of the name of it right now. Anyway, this is from her collection. She's another like OG YouTuber on here. Bought this years ago and I've been pulling it out at the end of every year. So I don't know like what's happening, but looking real cute. I sprayed a little bit of Chanel YSL, my favorite mix <laughs> together. Applied a little bit of blush, a little bit of... A little bit of everything, okay? Just to look a little bit more hydrated, vibrant, y'all. Mm. Who got something to say? Oh, nobody? <laughs> okay, I'm delirious at this point. I have been talking for entirely too long. And I also wanted to make note. There was like a small clip in here. I'll probably like make note of it. But um, where you can still kind of see my braid peeking through. That is literally due to my laziness. So if you want to add a few more pieces, definitely do it. But let me show you real, real, real quick. Okay, so I took a little strand out of the braid. I just finessed it and like forced it, yanked it out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, from one of the leftover pieces. And I can see where it was like folded to be fed into the hair. And I took the crochet needle somebody corrected me and said it's called a latch hook girl bye okay same thing all right y'all so i went ahead and just slipped that through and i went ahead and tied a knot two three four times and i realized the hair was so soft and silky it was not gonna stay so sorry that this part gets a little bit blurry but it's just a little bit of um nail glue i took a little bit of nail glue just on the very tip of like where that uh knot is y'all see trey in the back he like girl come on we we got a few more minutes <laughs> i'm always holding us up y'all luckily we didn't have to be there till 7 30 so perfect timing but yes i added two soft pieces and it just elevated the look you can add as many as you want super cute y'all say it ain't so Anyway, thank y'all so much for spending this time with me. I love y'all so much. Stay pretty. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, babies.